This is subscription drop 5 of Thinking Particle 6. In this feature video, we will discuss the new enhancements we did to the multi-physics behavior. Fluids can now properly interact with rigid bodies. Especially the buoyancy has been enhanced a lot. Before we dive into the scene, let's have a look how the scene is set up. We have various dynamic sets and the first dynamic set we are going to look at is the rigid body dynamic set. We use object to particle to bring in our rigid bodies and we assign a mass to these objects and we assign the rigid body parameters as well. And we have a separate object to particle that just brings in the pyramid with a separate mass. The next dynamic set takes care of the fluid particles. The particles are created with our new flow emitter that is new to uh, subscription drop 5. The flow emitter needs a particle input and we create this particle input with an object to particle and a point helper. So we feed in the point helper into the flow emitter to get a position in space. The next thing we do here is we control the flow of our fluid. And we do that with a value to value. So in the beginning we have a high flow rate and then we reduce over time the flow rate of our fluid. Because we don't want to flood our pool, we just want to adjust it so that our pool never runs over or is filled too much. Next thing easy is gravity, force and then our simulation part where we have our multi-physics part. That's the part down here and it's very important. We have two solvers. We have a flow solver and we have the bullet physics solver. This is the setup you need to use when you have multi-physics interaction because multiple solvers can work against each other so it has to be clear who is controlling who. And that's how the setup looks like. And then we have the flow group boundaries, so we want to have different boundary properties for our objects and different things happening when objects collide. And the last is the surface. We use our implicit shape to generate the surface of our fluid. So let's have a look how this uh, thing looks like when we play it back. Keep in mind, this is a real-time simulation. So while I'm recording this, while I'm talking and recording my voice, we are doing this simulation here. This fluid simulation with rigid bodies floating around, uh, having proper buoyancy and reacting to the fluid. This was not possible with previous uh, versions of Thinking Particles. Uh, it was kind of possible, but it was never right and you could never really foresee the results. Um, to show you that this is really uh, not pre-recorded or cached, let's adjust some parameters and uh, do another simulation then. So let's adjust the mass of the pyramid. Let's make it very light. So let's say like a plastic container, very light plastic, very thin light past plastic. So it has no mass at all. And let's play back. Now have a look at the pyramid. You already saw it, it just got uh, pulled away and, and lifted up and it's bouncing around and going right with the flow of the fluid. So you can see it's very light. It doesn't even go deep into the fluid itself. So all we did is we just changed the mass of the pyramid object. All the other objects are still the same. So they have um, the same mass. Now let's change it again. Let's make it more heavy, more dense. I want to simulate a more dense pyramid. So increase the mass and let's increase it to, uh, let's say 14. So that's now 14 times heavier. And the first thing you will notice when we play back is the pyramid does not move at all. The water flows around it, or the fluid flows around the pyramid and it needs to uh, stay in contact for some time and now it starts lifting the pyramid slowly. And then when the wave comes back, we actually have the enough mass to move the pyramid around. So now we can see it's very deep into the fluid and it shows you how the whole process and interaction works. 
And once again, this is real-time simulation, real-time playback in the viewport of 3D Studio Max. Let me uh, visualize the uh, surface a little bit more so that you can see the fluid actually moves around. So the pyramid is really dense and heavy, so it takes some force to move it and also to lift it up. So it starts flow buoyancy, starts now very slow and you can see now it's floating around. So this is one of the many new enhancements we had in Subscription Drop 5. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, check out our other feature videos and thanks for watching.